What's good, family? It's your boy, JB. Y'all already see the screen. Y'all see the title, My Career. We are two games in already. Drama is building up, you feel me? I'm trying to get more minutes, but we're going to see how that go, man. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell because we drop bangers on the regular. Insane Crazy 92 Ways the GT. Let's get into it. Nice to see you, MP. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing good. How you doing, Jess? Wonderful. Thank you for asking. Ms. Kelleher's waiting for you in the conference room upstairs. Awesome. I'll see you soon. Oh. <clears throat> Are you enjoying your newfound bad boy status? <laughs> I like it. Look, <laughs> I like it, to be honest. Uh, especially because it's for a just cause. Man, you know me better than anybody. I'm not somebody who lets the world tell me what I'm worth. I define that. As you should. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I booked an interview for you. Okay. To sit down with Frank Valentine to clear the air. <laughs> So not clear the air, well, got it. The the idea isn't to burn bridges, but you're aware management isn't gonna like what you have to say. So it's okay to approach the interview from a place of delivering a hard truth, you know? For sure. Yeah, I guess it's the fine line to walk to avoid coming off sounding like in the title, Brett, huh? Yeah. Just never forget that the coach is who's in the wrong here. Don't let them make you feel ashamed of speaking the truth. You got this. We got this. A lot of teams don't like to tip their hand too early in the season. Here we go. Coaches like to keep a few tricks up their sleeve for later on, Clark. Let's go, Let's go, baby. And it's Curry in for Milton. And the switch here also for Detroit. Prince has checked in. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Harris finds Embiid. Good work there as it goes. Embiid's got six points. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Drummond. Back to Curry. Detroit foul. That's his first personal foul. Right, Sixers. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for the Pistons. Simmons against Grant. Fades back. The rebound by Diallo. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. From deep, MP. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Simmons with it. Picked up by Grant. Harris, a screen on Grant. To the middle. And Harris throws it down. Slick in the pick and roll. Simmons, when a passing lane is open, he jumps all over. And for those of you who have followed Harris, he's been in the league a decade now. Doesn't seem like it's been that long, but it has been, and he's rock solid. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. Pass to Harris. Over Diallo. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Simmons. Harris has got his second bucket of the night. Boy, 
absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets from deep. MP, another three for three. Detroit. The Sixers leading. Outside Simmons. Now Harris. Drummond, the screen on Diallo. Harris passes to Simmons. Six to shoot. On the wing, Curry. Second chance effort. And he takes it up and lays it in. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Prince can't hit. Harris with it. And so it's Philadelphia closing out the quarter with us. Your sixer, 18, the Pistons, 11. And your sixer, Nancy. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Setting the floor for the Pistons. They've got MP. Isaiah Stewart out there with Kelly Olynyk. Then there's Sadiq Bey. And it's Cunningham in at the one spot. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, there's an annual survey of NBA executives. Going into last season, the Pistons were selected for worst offseason. But with the promise of their young players, guys, some optimism that the rebuild in the Motor City is off to a strong start. Physical, defensive-minded, Allie. That's Detroit basketball, isn't it? Milton, the open look. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Milton's got six. The Pistons trailing. Bay outside. MP, the pass to Bay. Here's Cunningham. And here's MP from outside. Drummond grabs the miss. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. And he lobs it up. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pistons. They it just couldn't make the connection. Yeah. Free throw drops for Harris. And for players these days, a lack of shooting can be a big hindrance. Grant, would you be more concerned by struggles from the perimeter or the free throw line? I'd be more concerned with struggles at the free throw line. I mean, if you struggle there, you can become very, very tentative out there on the court. And opponents can foul to force your hand. We've got Ben Simmons, Tobias Harris out there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Shake Milton, and it's Korkmaz in it for three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. It's stolen by MP. Here's Cunningham. It's Stewart, high post. MP, the pass to Stewart. Kicks it out to MP. Jacks up a three. And the Pistons, another three. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Pass to Harris. Drummond, the screen on Grant. Here's Harris. And he got the he whistle the on the way up. So he'll... Isaiah Stewart. That's his third personal foul. Not lasting long, 
15 foul. At the line for your Sixers, Tobias Harris. Taking two shots. and he can run the floor. Curry, he's checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for Ben Simmons. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. MP outside. Let's it go from deep. He can't get that one to fall. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They host the Hawks after this one, and that'll be their second of four total games at home. The Pistons have gone four of eight in the third. Two minutes remaining in the third. Diallo passes to MP. He buries it from three. Prince has got nine points in the quarter. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Back to Drummond. Pass to Cork Moss. Just five on the clock. Curry against Tim P. The Sixers again can't hit. Hey, you know, I like the competitive spirit, but when you look at it, I think he rushed that three a little bit because he was trying to get back at his opponent. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. Pass to Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Precision pass for Curry. Also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. On the wing, MP. Launches a three, and the Pistons, three another three! And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Drummond inside, guarded by Olenek. Bay against Harris. Back to Curry. Takes the three. The rebound by Diallo. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And here's MP from outside. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Pass to Cork Moss. And here's Harris. Drummond passes to Harris. Before the buzzer, but it's off target. Your 76ers, 45. The Pistons, 58. John, what's up? <laughs> what can I say? You're on an absolute roll from downtown. Hey, what does it take to stop MP these days? I mean, we share the rock on this team. That's a big part of our identity. So you can throw a double at me or front me or whatever, and that's fine. I'll make a pass, and we'll keep the ball moving. Keep ourselves moving until we, until we generate a clean look. But your shooting is a huge part of the team's success. I mean, Coach talks about it all the time, how it opens up the court for your teammates. Yeah, yeah okay, for sure. I, I'm just saying, you, you can try to shut me down, and I'm human. It might work. Hey, look, I, <laughs> it might work, but then it's just the next man up. So that's something I don't worry about at all. All right, let's see. Andrew, 
great win, and it looked like you were really feeling it personally. Were you calling for the ball? Look, man, I let my teammates know I had it going tonight, so they let me do my thing. They trusted me to carry us with this W. It seemed like you were still looking for your shot, even after they started doubling you. Look, I told they coach, you need to bring another one. Two guys can't hold me back. <laughs> Any thought to kicking it out? Sure, if I started missing. Man, as you guys see, I'm dropping 30 in three quarters, all threes, and we won by one point. If that doesn't tell the coach to keep me in the game, I don't know what's going to tell him. But if I made it this far, man, just make sure I go subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell because we do drop bangers daily. You feel me? Next video, we're going to see what happens next, man. It's your boy JB. I'm going to highlight you guys next time, man. Peace.